I'm coming now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Getting an aspirin for me hangover. Yeah, well, me as well. You have left some, have you? Yeah. How are you doing? Don't ask. Let's just do what we have to, yeah? Yeah, yeah, sure. Come on. Oh, no. What? It's locked. Which I suppose we should have expected. But it wasn't locked before. Oh, hello. Oh, hiya. Uh, what's going on? Uh, We're looking for a cat. Uh, whose cat? Uh, Charlotte's cat. But uh, we've been looking after it. You want to help us? <laughs> I do not. I've got better things to do with my time. So what do we do now? I didn't wake you, did I? If you hadn't, someone else would have, I hope. Listen, because if I say this, then I'm going to have to do it. What? Today is the day I get a job. OK, but, um... No buts, no buts. If you don't... And no ifs, I'm going to. Simple as that. All right, but you're uh, more than welcome to stay here for as long as you like. Hairdressing's going to be first stop, but if I can't do that, then anything. Except, you know what? We do, yeah. Not that. Not that. They're bound to unlock it later. Yeah, well, there'll be loads of work, then. It doesn't matter, I'll get in. I don't know how, somehow. I'll go through the roof if I have to. This is awful. It is just a nightmare. Why did I let you talk me into Oh, is that what I did? Oh, yeah. Because I got the impression I couldn't keep you out of it. They're going to find him, and they're going to think that you killed him, the bounty. Well, I didn't. And now that old guy's seen me with you again, as well as her from yesterday. I should have known you were a lunatic after what you did to that Webster girl. Oh, thanks. You're the worst thing that's ever happened to me. You know that. I woke up and you disappeared. Sorry. So where have you been? I just, um, just need some fresh air. What, in the middle of the night? It's not the middle of the night. John, what is going on? Cos I know something is. Like what? What do you mean, going on? Like, well, I don't know, do I? You didn't turn up to Chesie's party last night till it was nearly finished. But yeah, and I told you why. Yeah, well, I didn't believe you. And now I find you've been wandering the streets in the middle of the night. Are you leaving me? No, no, of course I'm not. Then what is going on? Nothing. You mean you won't tell me? No, I won't. You just leave me alone. Just stop asking. Right, I will. So, after you went to bed last night, I went on the internet, found some really fantastic houses. <laughs> Ooh, at really fantastic prices. No, a lot, I printed them off. Yeah, can I have a look later? Of course can, yeah. Right, so I'll see you at dinner time then, yeah? Uh, yeah, if you like. <laughs> and you've got gardens and everything, you know. Oh, yeah, and who's going to look after these gardens? Me. While well, you're sitting in the deck chair with the baby, watching me. Right, I'll try and get out at half twelve, but you know what Deb's like. Mm. See you later. Hello, Hayley. And how are you this morning? Terrible. Oh, dear. You see, I don't know what a hangover is. I can have any amount of alcohol, wake up feeling as fresh as a daisy. I can't. <laughs> anyway, I told the girls in the salon we'd be in at lunchtime. Will we? What's that for? To decide how you want to wear your hair for the wedding. I'll see him. We have to do that, do we? Oh, yes. 
It's number seven on my must-do list. Hello, you two. Morning, Sean. Do you want to hear some good news? Not sure. What's the fact? Of course we do. And you're going to tell us anyway. Last night I go on the internet and find that I've got a new friend. Guess who? No idea. Give us a clue. Oh, no, I'm not playing guessing. Dylan? Your little lad? Yeah. Well, it wasn't him that put it there. Obviously, it was his mum. But... See, that must mean that she doesn't mind me seeing him, don't you think? It must, yeah. I'm going to ring her tonight and see what we can arrange. Oh. Isn't it just a wonderful day? Oh, I'm so pleased for you. Oh. 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 Keys to the king. Oh, Dad. Yeah, I was going to put little coloured tags on to tell you which was which, but I thought it'd be more fun as you have to be fine to find out for yourself. Oh. Like, it'll also be fun for me to keep falling down that dirty grey toilet that's still there. Yeah, but it won't be for long. How long? Don't worry, it's all hanging now. We go in there this afternoon. It'll be like a ballroom. Hey, we can have a dance. Huh. Let's get some different shoes first. So what you're telling me is you're not going to do anything. Well, what can you do? Like you said, the place is full of workmen. All right, then I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the police. No! Why? And I'm going to tell them what happened and that they can find Colin's body in a hole where we've left it. No! And if I do that, then I hope they'll understand that we might have been stupid, but we're not murderers. We're not trying to cover up some terrible crime. Then they'll want to know how it all happened. And I'll tell them. Yeah? And you know what'll happen then? I'll go straight back to jail. Well, not necessarily. Yes! So, yeah, go on. Why not? Tell the cops. Let's get it over with. Well, you tell me a better idea. But just let me... Look, I'll get inside somehow. I don't know how, but I will. And I'll have a look and I'll ring you back. Well, you better. I will. Because the longer this goes on, the worse it's going to look. It can't look worse. Maybe not for you. Somebody, come on, give me a break! What's going on? Nothing. Who are you shouting at? Nobody. You were shouting at nobody? Somebody on the phone. I thought you'd gone out. I'm having a day off. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. You know, all I wanted to do was teach. That's all. But the gods, they have it in for me. Somebody up there definitely has it in for me. So, have both of you done weddings before? Oh, yeah. How many? How many? What, are you asking me to add them all up? I'm sure it won't take you that long. Right, then, I will. Let's see. Oh, here she is. <laughs> Every inch the blushing bride. Hello, Hayley. You know what I've been thinking, of, and I'd rather not bother with this today. Oh, you must. Of course you must. <laughs> Come and sit down. <laughs> seven. I've done seven weddings. And Natasha, how many have you done? Twenty-five. You have not. Of course I have. A lot more experience than you. What? And you can just add them all up, just like that? I don't have to. I keep a running total. Well, maybe both of you could take a look at Hayley here. But picture her, not as you see her now, a dowdy factory hand, but as a vision of loveliness and antique satin. And tell us what hairstyle you would recommend. <clears throat> so go on. Now, you first. So I was drunk for this. Oh, too much for you. Anyway, you're not even old enough to drive, are you? What? You mean you won't even sell it to me? Oh, I'll sell it to anyone who's got the money. Have you? How much? Special offer to you, 500 quid. Come back when you've saved it up, yeah? What can we do for you? Uh, go on. No, I was just, um, I was just, just being nosy, wondering what was going on. Well, you have to be nosy somewhere else, mate. Both nice persons only, aye. 
Yeah, sure. Sorry. Scotch, please. And who are you? You don't want to know. Hello. Still haven't managed to get in. Oh, no. Because I couldn't. There were workmen everywhere you looked, even a cement lorry. So does that mean they found Colin or what? They must have, wasn't they? So you still don't know? Because I couldn't get in the place. Right, well, I really am going to the police. No, Charlotte, please. Well, you'd better get in there and find out what's happening. Honest, you're useless. What, you want me to go in and ask, have you found her body? Is that what you want? What I want is that none of this had happened. <sighs> uh, for a I can't believe you've ever seen a bride. You don't seem to have a clue what they're supposed to look like. Well, not like a Barbie doll, which is what you seem to think. No, I'm sorry. I've just had enough. You've given us a lot to think about. So who are you going to choose? Come on, Hilly. No, oh, my client and I will have to consult. Why do you have to consult? What about? Whether she wants to look like a Barbie doll or not. I, I don't think I want that, no. <laughs> Thank you. So what do you want to look like, then? A poodle. You trained on dogs, didn't you? Parents used to have her kennels. That's where she did a training. Uh, no such thing. Ailey, don't listen to a word she says. I'm trying not to listen to anything anybody says. I think you might have a customer. Oh. Hello, I'm the senior stylist. Can I help? No, no she isn't. I'm the senior stylist. I, I was actually looking for a... But, no, not here. I don't think I could stand it. Stand what? What are you... <sighs> Can you believe that? Some people. Don't tell me. I have to work with one of them. You mean I do. Oh, do you know I'm going? Thank you. Bye. Wedding nerves. Anyway, like I say, my client and I will have a chat and then tell you what we decide. Goodbye. Bye bye. If I ever hear you say that again, I'll. Yes, and if I ever hear you say what you say, I'll. D I'll do something you won't like. What, like doing my hair? Because I certainly wouldn't like that. <laughs> I used to think that what I wanted was a big house in a nice neighbourhood until I got it. Really? Then I found I didn't know the neighbours. And then when I did know them, most of them I didn't want to know. I was miles away from anywhere all on my own. Well, we won't be uh, living anywhere posh. We can't afford it. Just a minute. But also the main reason you were unhappy was because you didn't have your husband with you, which Molly will have. Dev. I'm only trying to help. Yeah, well, so am I. No, you're not. You're just trying to tell me that everything that happened to me was my own fault. Uh, can I go for lunch? Yeah, go, go, go. When it wasn't my own fault. Well, of course it wasn't, dear. All I'm trying to do is warn her of the dangers. I'm sure she's really grateful for that. Yes, can I help? Um, I was just looking for a job and wondered if you might have one. No, I'm sorry, no. Why? What? Why are you sorry? You do have a job going. What? What, Molly's? I thought you said you'd be doing the extra hours. The kebab shop. My husband also owns the kebab shop that's just around the corner from here. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Um, Sunita was giving me, you don't want a big house, it'll only make you miserable. And Neely said, you'd be miserable wherever you were. And anyway, these houses aren't even that big. Yeah, have a look. I think there's some really nice ones. Can I ask you, Sean, what is it you're hoping to achieve? Hmm. Seeing my son again. Which any father would want. 
hand. What, like seeing him on a regular basis, letting him know you're his dad? Well, that'll depend on Violet, won't it? These things don't always work out like you want them to. Well, I know, but I'm not getting carried away. I'm being very sensible. And you're going to ring her tonight, you said? Yeah. Or now. I could ring her now. <sighs> oh, no. No, I dare not. Should I? Should I ring her now? What do you think? Tell you what, why don't we have a vote? Another large one, please, Liz. Not selling sofas today? Sofa? Um, no, day off today. All right for some? Psst! You know what I just realised, don't you? What? It was you that rang Violet, wasn't it? And persuaded her to get in touch. Might have done. Well, you're an angel, thank you. I hope it works out. I'm thinking of ringing her now to ask if I can see him. Do you think I should? Well, I have nothing to lose. No, you're right. I haven't. Or do you think I should wait till tonight? Ta. By the way, Liz, you're not looking for any more staff in here, are you? Are you joking? There's more folk on this side of the bar than there is that. Ah, there you are. Just talking about you. What do you want to drink? White wine, Tom. Coming up. Still looking for a job? Not anymore. I am now a fast food salesperson. How fast? Perhaps. What? Thames on Victoria Street? Yeah, and before you say anything, from what I've seen this morning, it is a hell of a sight more civilising hairdressing. Violet, hi. It's Sean. I hope you don't mind me ringing you, but... There's something I really, really need to ask you. You're going to hate it. Not as much as my last job. Your customers are either going to be mouthy kids or fallen over drunks. Sounds familiar. So what are the hours? More or less what I want. He's that desperate to get someone in there. Look, it's a job. I said I'd get one, and I have. Liz, she said yes. I can see him. Oh, that is wonderful. Congratulations. I see who? Yes, so. She said yes. I can see him. Oh, Sean, I'm so pleased for you. Oh, so am I. I really am. I see him where? I mean, where does he live? Well, London. So I guess I'll just have to go down there. I can't believe it. So when's all this going to happen? We haven't set a date yet. Sorry to interrupt. Listen, I know this is your designated boozing and yakking time, but I've got to give you these brand new set of keys, front and side doors. Oh, cheers. Thank you. All right, that's all. <laughs> but you can't wait. Oh, I can't. She said, let me just have a look in my diary and I'll ring you back. I guess I'll just have to be patient now, won't I? Which you're not right good at. No, I am not. I mean, how long does it take to check a diary? <laughs> Come on, phone, ring! <laughs> so, I suppose we'll never have to cook again. Oh, I'd probably turn us off eating altogether. Oh, no. Right, can we help you? It's all right. No, it's not all right. This is called harassment. We're not having it. I'm not harassing anybody. Oh, well, so what is it, man? You're just passing by, is that it? Can you just say something? No. What? The reason I'm here... We know the reason you're here. No, you don't. Lloyd. The reason is, I'm working in Underworld. Ricky and General Labourer. Started this morning, I'm going to be here till the job's finished. So I'll see you around. OK. No, no, I'm not having it. We're not having it. There's me going on. I've got a job. What do you know? So is my husband. These are the houses you're looking at. Yeah, they're a bit pricier than round here. Mm, Chester. And you can afford these prices, can you? Well, we wouldn't be looking at them if we couldn't. It's a bit of a push, mine. No, it isn't. Yes, we can afford any of them. Fizz not with you. Oh, um, well, she was invited, but she just didn't fancy a drink. Oh, no, well, she's not much of a drinker, is she? Mm. <laughs> but so long as she's OK. Oh. As far as I know, she is, yeah. Great. <laughs> that we couldn't even think about affording. So? So, what did you want the town for a share of the garage, then? It's between me and him. How much? Well, I've offered him 15 grand. 15 grand? I'm sorry, Kevin, but that's far too generous. Go on. Um, please, can I ask you something while you're together? What? 
I don't even know why I'm bothering because you're just going to say no like you did before. You're not still going on about that music festival. Well, yeah, because I've told you that we'll be careful and I'll ring you every single day just to let you know we're okay. We've told you, no, you're not going. You're not old enough for that sort of stuff. Mm. I said no. Look, can I just remind you, Kevin, that the money you give to time on is money that is taken out of our pension and your children's inheritance. Just what do you think you're doing here? Coronation Street is back in half an hour.